Nigel here with a uh, critical review on Mr. Jeb Haxel's tutorial on how to move mesh. And here with our host today is superhero, self-proclaimed superhero, Blendor. I am Blendor from the foundation of superheroes. Yes, I believe we established your name in the credits. How do you do that echoey thing with your voice? I can mold myself into any form I want. I can stretch my arms out as far as I want to, be as tall as I want to, be short as I want to. I can grow a foot out of my own chest just to kick you if I choose to. Well, as I was saying, we're here to review this tutorial which has already gone underway. Uh, as you can see here, um, Mr. Soul, would it be Mr. Soul or would it be, uh, would it be appropriate to call him by his first name, Jab? Jab has us a female Wearing no pants. How interesting. I can grow wings, horns, anything. For I am Blendor, the Magnificent, and nothing will be able to stop me. Nothing! Uh, would you be able to beat up, say, somebody huge, like, uh, Godzilla? If I... Blendor was to ever get in a fight with Godzilla and Mechagodzilla, I could take them both down with five hands behind my back. Cause I'll just grow five more hands. Somebody seems to have an ego problem. Anyway, uh, back to the tutorial. Like our friend Blendor here, he is now able to pose the mesh and then use keyframes to lock the, the skeletal structure into that position for that frame. For I am Blendor. And he has separated the skeleton into uh, two layers by pressing the M key and then putting the layer of the skeleton over onto another screen. So basically he can toggle back and forth using the 1 and 2 key at the top of his keyboard. How clever. Nothing at all can stop me. How interesting. Blendor has no weaknesses for Blendor is strong. He is smart. I was talking about the tutorial, Blendor. I was, I was not talking about you, but you seem to be talking about yourself. I can also duplicate myself by using a technique I secretly call Shift-D for shifting dimensional form. Using uh, the auto IK on his skeletal structure, he is able to manipulate the mesh back and forth and do all these wonderful things with it, Blendor. Don't you find that amazing at all? For I am Blendor, the all-powerful bean. Nothing, nothing can stop me. I'm beginning to think you only find yourself amazing, Blendor. You can name any single being in this universe and ask me to take them all down, I will win. Now, you notice how the joints move about in, in this area, and it's... He doesn't seem to be using any kind of uh, joint restriction, and that could could cause him problems but it doesn't seem to on this demonstration uh, joint restriction is where you restrict the joints and keep them from 
doing the impossible like you suggest, Blendor. I can grow wings to fly around at my loin. I like how he particularly uh, uses the auto IK to turn on and off at the appropriate points to be able to reposition his model. How do you feel about that, Blendor? Nothing is wiser than Blendor! Somehow I knew you would say something along those lines. Now, here's something particularly interesting. A lot of people do walk cycles, but here he shows us how to do a run, a sprint. The character just bolts off. And that is, she does like two lunges and then drops to her knees and slides in. There you have the finished animation. He adds his lamps, his camera, and he films it. And we have four seconds of video to show you at the end of this tutorial. I only wish that my co-host could have been more elaborate about the tutorial and less elaborate about himself. This is Nigel. And, Blendor, do you have anything to say as we close, Blendor? And, by the way, this tutorial was very educational, actually.